Hello, Olivia and Kit here. We are here to show you the Partner Shoulder Depress. I would say it is one of the most favoured exercises in the stretch therapy system. Mm. And for some unfathomable reason, we have never filmed it before. So we're doing that today. Mm. I'm going to be the partner and Kit is going to be the stretcher. The key role of the partner is to support the spine of the person being stretched so they can relax into the position. There's a couple of different ways the partner can assist. The preferred way we found is for the partner to position their foot in this way, so turn it in 90 degrees, and then place it directly at the base of the stretcher's spine. So I'll do that now, right up close. My feet are spread apart and both feet are flat on the floor, so I'm absolutely stable. And then I turn myself so my shoulders are pointing exactly where Kit's are. Then I very gently draw Kit's whole spine back onto my leg and because I did that turn of my foot it's a nice soft part of my lower leg that's supporting him not my knee digging into any part of his spine. Look down at the person and if they tend to have their shoulders a little bit forward then we just gently draw them back a little bit more and then I say to Kit do you feel completely supported by my leg? Great. I can relax here. Notice also that Kit has his palms up in his lap. That is so that when I do the very gentle leaning pressure on his shoulders, he's not even unconsciously resisting the force, which could happen if he had his palms on his legs. Then what I do is place this part of my palm right on the top of the shoulder joints. I've got my thumb and little finger spread and I'm gripping a little bit with those and the fingers are just draped down the outside of his shoulders there. My arms are completely straight. You don't, don't want to be pushing through bent elbows. Rather, I'm leaning from my waist through straight arms. Kit's job is to breathe deeply and comfortably and allow my leaning weight to move his shoulders down away from his ears. My shoulders are very slightly in front of my hands on his shoulders and that means that the forces are perfect as the leaning weight comes onto him. How's that pressure feel, Kit? Excellent. Okay, and we stay here for a few breaths in and out. Kit gets used to that sensation. He tells me whether he wants more leaning pressure or less or somehow different. Perhaps I'm a bit asymmetric. Does that all feel okay there? Mm. Good. All right, and now we'll do a contract relax. The contraction here is for Kit to very gently and smoothly start to attempt to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And contractions are always non-moving, so I need to be able to resist with equivalent force. And we do that for a count of five four, three, two, one. He slowly stops the contraction. We both take a deep breath in and as we both breathe out, his shoulders will sink down and I follow and apply a little bit more leaning force. Just to reiterate, I am leaning from my waist through straight elbows, not pushing down with my arm strength. Breathe and relax. All right, the next part of the sequence is I gently tap one shoulder and I say to Kit, use the muscles of your armpit to try and pull your own shoulder down. We're doing the right one first mm. and I keep the left one restrained. And then we tap the left shoulder and he uses the muscles of his armpit to draw the shoulder down himself. We do that two or three times on each side. We find that number of times really gets you to your end range for this time. And you'll be surprised to find that the shoulders will come down a long way further than the initial position. We pause there. Kit continues to breathe and relax. How's that pressure? Good. Mm. Nice. 
Something else you could do here is Kit can now play with some different head positions. He can start by letting the chin go forward towards the chest. Some people find that very effective. To that forward position, he's adding some side to side movements. He can reach up and add some additional force himself by drawing the chin closer. He can add more of a pure side bend to the initial position. Mm. Excellent. Good. Nice. And then to come out of the position, I need to rehearse in my mind how I'm going to take away my leaning pressure. So a really smooth way to do that is to simply start to slowly move your weight back towards your back foot and the weight comes away super smoothly. You never want to jerkily take your weight off the person you're helping. Good. Uh -huh. And the best part of the whole sequence is to then get a nice little massage at the end. Uh -huh. How's that feel? Don't stop. Don't stop. Awesome. Mm. Okay. Lovely. So give that one a go with your partner or anyone who you know holds some tension through the sides and the back of the neck. They will love this exercise.